guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and be doing something a little bit different. As I had mentioned in my previous videos, my husband and I were gonna take a delayed honeymoon. We got married last year in November of 2017. Well, actually in September of 2017, through the courthouse and then we had the big wedding, or as my husband likes to call it, my big fat Mexican wedding. I'm Latina, he's white. I have a huge family, he has a smaller family, so yeah. Anyway, so after we got married last year, we didn't end up going anywhere, we didn't even take a small trip anywhere. We decided to just sort of wait it out and save up some money in order to go on the trip we really wanted to go. And we really wanted to go to Italy, so after about a year of saving and figuring it all out, we are finally going. So we're going to France first, so Paris, and then from there we're going off to Venice, Florence, uh, Rome, Naples, Pompeii, Amalfi Coast, and all that. So yeah, it's gonna be a long trip, and I'm really excited. I've been to Paris, I've never been to Italy, so I'm super excited about that, but my husband's never traveled out of the country, ever. So, I mean, he's been to like Tijuana and stuff like that, but never outside of the country. I don't think he's even been to Canada. So he's really pumped. I mean, he just literally got his passport in October, or we ordered it in October, and then we got it like a few weeks later. But anyways, yeah, so first time he's gotten a passport, first time he's going out of the country or flying overseas. So we'll see how that goes. But he's really excited and I'm excited for him and I'm excited for myself. So because of that, I thought, why don't I do like a packing video? Now, I'm no expert. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on the matter because I have traveled around the world a few times, you know, I've gone to Chile and I've gone to Australia and I've gone to, you know, Canada and Paris and all of these different places. And um, I've slowly learned how to pack more or less for these places. And then, you know, I'm still learning as well because I do tend to overpack like a lot because I'm always thinking like, well, what if I don't wanna wear that outfit that day and I wanna wear something different? Or what if I don't have that option and I really want it once I'm there? So I'm gonna try and see how much I can fit in my carry-on bag and see where that takes me once I'm actually there. I have a few different outfits that I'm gonna be wearing and then I have like one night outfit for when we have like a nice dinner and then that's about it. So I wanted to show you that and show you my carry-on case and my little bag that I'm taking on board with me because that's all I'm taking. I'm not taking any big suitcase. I'm one, because I have learned that not all hotels have lifts or elevators as we call them here. So um, that's a huge issue when I took my big bag with me the first time I was lugging it around everywhere and it was a hassle so now I know that you know carry-on is just like the safest bet and then two you know it's just not something that you want to worry about like you just want to focus on having fun and like enjoying yourself there so you know what I'm wearing is like the least of my worries obviously I want to look cute for pictures right because like they're gonna be memories that we're gonna have forever but at the end of the day those are just for us so it's fine if like you know I don't wear makeup or like I'm not wearing any makeup today I was like no nah, not feeling it I mean I'm literally packing today to leave tomorrow morning we have to be at the airport at four o'clock in the morning so that's gonna be fun but um yeah so I wanted to film this for you guys. So here I am, it's okay, you know, whatever, I'll be fine. I already know what I'm taking. It's just a matter of like showing it to you guys and then putting it in my suitcase and then I should be done. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. That's gonna be a bumpy ride, you guys, cause I don't know if it's all gonna fit. I'm hoping. Ah. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye bye. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna do a quick sweep through of what I'm taking so that you can see it all. That's all the stuff that I'm gonna try and fit into my luggage. So here to the right side, I have a rain jacket, which is waterproof, and then I also have my Pentagonia jacket, which was actually a really nice set gift from Eastbound and Down season four. So that was really cool. So I'm taking those two jackets and they're very easy to pack. You can make them really, really small and they don't take up a lot of space. Then we have my PJs and actually that's a set of shorts, blouse, and then some pants. And I'm taking the pants with me just because last time that I was in France around this time, I was freezing my ass off. So I just want to have something warm to sleep at night. And I'm also going to take like a sweater to wear it to bed just in case. Then you'll see my bras. I'm only taking two bras, actually three bras, one that I'm wearing on the plane. So two that I'm packing. And then I have a bunch of socks. Then I have some 
gloves, a beanie, and a scarf. And then you can see in this section over here, my pants, my underwear, and then these are a bunch of tees that I got. So these are under tees. And then this is like a tee that I'm taking out for like dinner. And then the rest are like sweaters or shirts that I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna layer these underneath them. And I only got three of these because I figure I can just alternate. And then I'm also taking my outfit that I'm wearing on the plane, which is like tights and this like a button down uh, flannel shirt. And then my denim jacket, which I'll be wearing because it's a little bulkier. And then for shoes, I am taking my Goga Skechers, which I just got and I had to break them in at work. And then I'm also taking these boots that are just like black and you know, they're a little beat up, but they're comfortable. And then I'm also taking these beauties right here. They're long boots. They're super comfy to walk in and they can make outfits look really, really cute. So these I'm taking as well. But those I'm actually wearing on the plane because they are really bulky. I don't want to take up a lot of space in my suitcase. So for pant wise, which are back there in that little section, I'm taking four denim skinny jeans and then two pairs of tights plus the tights that I'm wearing. So the the pants don't take up a lot of space because they're skinny jeans and they're you know pretty easy to like roll up. I'm taking one black, one faded black, a dark blue and then like a light denim and then two black leggings that are lined with fleece which will help with the weather so yeah so let's see how i do with this okay let's go ahead and start on this so one of the things that i always take with me are these like little dust bags this one actually came with my luggage set and it's like for dirty laundry and then this one so i use these to put my shoes in there so they don't dirty my clothes and they don't stink it up so yeah this is what i'll be using for that then i'll come back and check in with you guys once i start packing all this up okay so just checking in for some progress i've got my four denims plus my two leggings with the fleece lining so like i had mentioned before i've got my black denim my faded black denim my light wash denim and then my dark blue denim so I think that should definitely give me enough choices for what I'm gonna wear. Plus I'm taking the leggings that I'm wearing for the plane, which I'll show you that outfit in a little bit. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. I'm back with another little update. All of the underwear fit in here perfectly and I'm taking a lot of pairs, you guys. I'm taking 12 plus obviously the one that I'm wearing on the plane. Just one of my biggest fears is to run out of underwear because you know, you never know, you need a fresh pair. So yeah, they're all in there. So far so good, you guys. Okay guys, so I've got my sweaters, my shirts, my PJs, as well as my socks, and pretty much everything else in there. I have a few more things to go in, but I think this is gonna work, and then the rest is just gonna go in my other bag, which I will show you once I start setting that up. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so bra went actually underneath the socks. I ended up adjusting the bras underneath the socks so that the socks can go in the actual cup. So that actually made room for them. And then scarf, gloves, and beanie are here. So all I have left are my two pairs of shoes, my raincoat, and my Pantagonia, plus my light sweater that I like to wear at night when I get really cold. That's gonna go in here. And then I will move on to my other bag. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. This little, this little nugget right here has done me wonders. I'll be back in a bit. There's a Pantagonia. It looks a little bulky, but it's actually really easy to just stuff into different places. And then also this is my rain jacket. It is rain proof, not rain resistant, rain proof. And it is a, I believe a Columbia or LL Bean. I'm not really sure. Oh, it's an LL Bean. And actually my mother-in-law gave this to me because she had that in her closet and she knew I needed a good rain jacket. So that was really sweet of her. So now I'm actually taking it to Europe. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in there or stuff these in there and I'll be back and check in with you guys. Okay guys, so believe it or not, I was actually able to get those two jackets into this little compartment right here. They fit perfectly and now all I have left to put in this bag are my two pairs of shoes and then a light sweater, which I think should not be an issue getting in there. But I'll come back and check with you guys once I actually put them in there and once I seal this puppy up. I'll be right back. Okay, so those are the two pair of shoes. I've already fastened the little belts on this thing. And now we're gonna see if I can close this with this. I'll be right back. And it's done, you guys. Everything fit in there. All of my clothes, my shoes, my underwear, my bras, socks, PJs, 
sweaters, you name it, it fit in here. Now, the last bag that I have to get ready will have my toiletries and some of my gadgets that I'm taking with me, like my camera and my iPad and stuff like that. But that should be super easy peasy compared to this. But it totally worked. I actually had gotten some Eagle Creek bags that, some like e-bags or like those compression bags that you can get that my husband actually gave me a couple of years ago as a gift. But I figured that I should try this without that because sometimes it does tend to make it a little bit bulkier specifically in this little nugget right here. This suitcase has really done me well. I actually have the entire set. I have this, I have the gym bag, which you'll see, and then I have the bigger suitcase. Super cute. I believe the brand is French Bulldog from Target. I got it like two, three years ago, so I'm not sure that they have it anymore, but it's really cute. I will never miss it when it's coming out. I know exactly what my bag looks like. And when I describe it to other people, they pretty much get the idea. So yeah, everything fit in there, you guys. I'm so freaking proud of myself. Okay, I'll come back and check in with you guys once I start packing up my other bag. Okay, guys. So this is what I'm taking in my gym bag. Let me see if I can turn this slightly, which is this bag right here. And I actually forgot to put my faux leather jacket in my other luggage, but I think it'll work on this one because all of these little things are just gonna go into different little compartments. Some of them are going into my personal bag, which has to fit in there. If not, I'm gonna see if I can stick it in my other suitcase. I totally forgot about that, but that's like actually the jacket that I'm using for like, you know, dinner or whatever with my husband because we're celebrating his birthday and then also our anniversary. So I definitely need to take that. And then the rest is just like a bunch of stuff that I just need or that I think I need. I mean, I don't know if I really need it, but it's a lot, you guys, that I have to put into all of these little baggies and make it work. One of the things that I really liked and that I needed to do for sure because of liquids, although right now I'm noticing that I do have hand sanitizer that I might not be able to take because it does not fit into my toiletry bag. So this is my toiletry bag with all of my liquids. As you'll see, I have my lotion, I have my concealer and my highlighter here. I have a uh, face wash and, um, oh my gosh, why am I forgetting the name? Face cream with SPF 15. I have dry shampoo, mascara, then I have two liquid lip liners and then a primer for my um, eyeshadow. And then on this side, I have my fragrance, which is like this body spray that my husband loves and that I love using, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So I think this will definitely last me for the entire time that I'm there. If not, I'm sure the hotels will have stuff. I just wanted to bring my own because I just use a specific thing for my hair and for my face. So I was able to fit this all in this toiletry bag, which is what is required when you're traveling internationally. They meant all of your liquids must fit in one of these. I barely got it to close, but it worked. And then there's a couple of other items on the bed that might need to go on my husband's, like our toothpaste might have to go in his and maybe a hand sanitizer. I just love having a hand sanitizer for, you know, just things pop up, you touch stuff, you know, you never know. And as you can see, I have a lot of pills on the bed. I tend to get really bad headaches. I'm prone to tension headaches, I'm prone to migraines. So I just always need to be very well prepared. I also get really nauseous and dizzy because I have an issue with my inner ear. I think it's called labyrinthritis. So I have to take these often just because I do tend to get dizzy and nauseous a lot. So yeah, and then you see all my gadgets and stuff as well as tampons, although I'm not gonna be on my period during this trip. If for some reason I do get it just because it's towards the end of the month, I'm taking some tampons. Not many, just a couple to get me through. And then face wipes, deodorant, shaver, all that jazz. Makeup, of course, is over there. And I got this really cute bag on Amazon that I really liked. And it's holding everything that I needed to hold. So this is all stuff that's not liquid that can go through security. So there you have it, folks. That's what I'm packing up. I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up and then show you the end results. Actually, before I start packing, I wanted to show you something. So I ended up getting this wallet from Amazon. It's a Travel Ambo, and it's an anti-theft wallet, and it holds all of my credit cards, my driver's license, and then my passport right here. A little pen, because you know you have to fill out those custom sheets. 
and then I'm taking my health insurance card, but I don't know that I'll need it. And then this is where I have my euro that I've cashed out for myself, my personal euros, because my husband's the one that's really paying for most of the stuff there. But I'm just taking a few euros and then some money for um, when we're at the airports here in the States. So that's my travel wallet, but it's anti-theft, which I really liked. So I got that off of Amazon and I'll try and link that below. I hope I don't forget. And then I also got this anti-theft purse. It's a crossbody purse or however you want to use it, but it has all of these little compartments and these like things that lock on here and it's lined inside so that no one can steal your information. It also has these, these little holders for water bottles, which I really like, especially since we're going to be doing a lot of walking in Paris and throughout Italy. So I like that. And you see it has another little compartment here and you can sort of see that has like so much stuff in here and this is really great and then it has another little compartment for water so I can carry two water bottles for my husband and I and it's perfect so this is what I'll be using while I'm traveling when I saw this I really liked it just because it seems so functional and just perfect for traveling so yeah so I just wanted to show you guys that before I started packing Okay, so there you have it, folks. I am all packed up. Everything is in here, including that uh, faux leather jacket that I needed to pack up. It's at the bottom of this, and it's all in here. And all I have left to put in is my iPad. This is some cash that we need. This folder with all the documents that I'm gonna print out and put in here. And then this little contraption here, I actually got this on Amazon. I've heard great things about it. It is supposed to hang over your tray table that you have um, in your seat and you're able to extend your feet and have them rest on this. And as someone who's five, two and three quarters, this comes in handy because my feet don't really touch the ground on the plane. So I feel like I'll be a lot more comfortable in this. And then I also got this little thing here, which I have tried out around the house and it's super comfortable. So I'm really excited for these two things. I got these in Amazon, I'll link them below. And then I got this little contraption here and this will hold this bag to my carry-on bag as well so that it doesn't fall over and that's about it I think all I have left is my personal phone which I'm currently recording on the charger for it my headphones and then my bag which will definitely fit in that bag so that I will only have my two items that I get to check in with me which is one personal item and one carry-on bag so that's it folks I'm all packed up and the final item I wanted to show you was my outfit for the plane. It's comfortable, but it's also carrying some of the things that are a little bit bulkier that I did not want to carry in my suitcase. So like my denim jacket, which I think I'll get a lot of use out in Italy since it's only going to be in like the 60s or mid 60s. I won't need like a heavier jacket like my Pantagonia, so this will be really great for that. So my tights, which are super comfortable, and then this little flannel button down that I have, you can see right there, along with my jacket. And then this bralette that's super comfy and it's just perfect for flights because then I don't feel like, ugh, like I hate bras. I just really hate them. They really bug me. So I like bralettes and uh, this is just super comfortable. And then I'm also going to wear my boots, which are super bulky and will take up a lot of room in my suitcase. So I'm going to wear them. So these are them. They're really great and they're super comfy. I actually have to clean them up a bit <laughs> before I take them out. But um, they're super comfy and they like make really, they make an outfit look really cute. So I'm gonna take those and I know that they could get uncomfortable in a really long flight, especially since it's an eight hour flight from Detroit to Paris. So we're flying out from LA and then we have a layover in Detroit for four hours. And then in Detroit, we take off to Paris and that's an eight hour flight. So I'm actually taking some flip flops in my personal bag so that once I'm on the plane, I can just go ahead and take off my boots and then just wear my flip-flops around the plane. And then obviously once I deplane, I will just throw my flip-flops back into my bag. So that's it, you guys. Everything's all packed. It all fit. And I am ready to go to Europe. I'm so excited. <sighs> and I'm back. That was exhausting. <laughs> no, seriously, guys. I don't even know how I did it. I, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. But I'm glad it all fit. I'm glad that I'm getting to take all the things that I feel like I'm gonna need. And I'm glad that I'm gonna be warm because I've been keeping up with the weather and I know it's gonna be a little rainy in Paris and then that it's gonna be in the 60s in Italy, so I might be a slightly warmer there. 
but I'm always cold anyway, so I should be fine. My husband's the one that's a little bit more worried. Like he feels like he should take some like pants and shorts and all this stuff. So we'll see how he does, but that's it. That was what I wanted to show you guys. So as always guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so now and please ring my bell so you can stay updated on everything that I have going on. I have a bunch of stuff coming up. So please, if you like the content that I've been putting up so far, I know it's kind of all over the place, but I'm kind of all over the place. So that's kind of like what my channel is going to be like. Please subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm